looping through lists. Lists, uh, lists of items here, multiple items. One of the main reasons in Python why we have a list rather than storing it in separate, separate variables is because we want to do the same thing over and over again with different items, or very similar things. So in order to do this, we usually want to loop through the list to do. So let's say a nice easy example is let's just print out each item in the list. So you do for, now you do a for loop, and I, because I've got a list of animals, I'm going to call my temporary variable here animal, because it makes sense for animal in animals. There we go, and we print animal. And that should then print out each animal in the list. There we go, cat, dog, mouse, cat, dog, mouse, cat, dog, mouse. There we go, and that's 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 one way of doing it, that's nice and simple. Of course you could do slightly more complicated things. You could do, let's say I, I want a cat for Xmas. There we go. So you can use that variable there. The temporary variable animal in animals and here you can see you could do slightly more clever things i want a cat for xmas on a dog for xmas, I want a mouse for xmas good stuff excellent you don't have to call it animal you could call it x there you go or any name of temporary uh, variable here that's going to be that's going to stand for what that particular item is in the list as we go through the for loop so we could do for x in animals but if you look through here, you can see I want a X for Christmas is not very readable. It doesn't really make much sense. Whereas here, if we put animal, it's I want a, and then the name of the animal for Christmas. Suppose we could call it for name in animals, and then it, I want a name for animals. But it stands for that particular item in the list that we're going through in a for loop. And for loops are the most powerful way of doing that.